Alright. Here is my review of the Spider-Man villains. Uh, here we have the Green Goblin. Hello. Uh, I'm going to sort of just quickly run through a few of who I've got. Uh, basic what they do and who they are and, and all of that shenanigans. Uh, obviously comes removable from his glider. Uh, I do believe you could buy uh, the expansion pack for his glider which basically had a, a, a massive glider um, from the cartoon. So there you go the Green Goblin there, nice little pointy finger sort of so you can blame somebody or you can always do the like Burn my finger! Burn my finger! <coughs> kind of joke. Uh, if you're into that sort of thing, which I am. Uh, the other goblin here is uh, the hobgoblin, who has an arm that is able to throw pumpkin bombs. But judging by the price of pumpkin bombs these days, uh, unfortunately, you can't afford any, so. He just has to throw apples, uh, which he hasn't been to the green grocers yet, so unfortunately I can't show you that one at the moment. So there you go, the hobgoblin and the green goblin hanging in the hob in the in the in the goblin hood. Uh, sort of, let's go with another classic. Uh, we've got Craven here, the hunter who is kind of, you know, he's, 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 a, he's a funny one, like, uh, kind of, he's all about being the, the alpha male and, uh, and all of that, so he, he, uh, his arm is supposed to fire, like catapult forward, which is kind of not working very well, so, uh, so there you go. Decent figure, uh, again, sort of, sort of the smaller size kind of scale they, they kind of started to beef the figures up uh, later on which probably if I show you Venom next that's kind of like the similar scale to, to the Craven slightly beefier but then when they did like later versions I mean that's just huge kind of just you know, in the middle of the 90s when steroids was rife, I suppose. That one uh, does have a removable head or mask. So you can see Eddie Brock in, in there. So, you know, a very, very nice looking figure. Just very, very massive uh, as well. Staying with the symbionts, uh, I'll show you my two Carnage figures, which this one has the typical sort of what I call the Wolverine kind of joint where you you kind of spin him and then he punches and kind of breaks his back, which doesn't sound very good, does it? Uh, this one again is the, the removable mask head type version, which is, is quite tight, which is quite surprising, seeing as trying my best not to pull his head off seeing as he has a very little, tiny little pea head and that's next to, to Craven who also has a fairly small head if you put that next to like uh, Doc Ock who's got a massive head I mean that's, that's I guess that's why he's you know so psychotic his brain's getting crushed and he's ginger uh, <laughs> Not that, not that being ginger actually makes you psychotic, uh, but it probably helps. So yeah, so on the Doc Ock, uh, this is the, the sort of the later version where it was a repaint of the original, uh, which I, I would have preferred the original, uh, but you know, I guess beggars can't be choosers. He did have a thing on his back that he pulled that made his He's uh, give himself a hug, like, oh, I love me. Mm. Uh, but again, I've removed that for my own personal reasons, which I'm not about to tell you on national uh, YouTube. Is that national? No, international, I guess. 
Anyway, so that's that's uh, moving moving swiftly on to the, the vulture, uh, who I believe at one point uh, when you squeeze his legs, which you kind of still can hear like a little click. Or not. Uh, made his arms kind of flap, kind of thing. So. Uh, not not the best figure, kind of a bit limited by the fact that he's, his arms are kind of stuck into his wing, so he can pretty much all he can do is uh, pretend he's a crab. This this is the lizard. Uh, visually, it looks fantastic. Uh, fits in really nice with the collection. Shame he's kind of gone for the Star Wars kind of PVC. Kind of jackety thing which really limits his arms and uh, basically will just the longer I leave it out in oxygen will just perish uh, but as a, as a display piece looks nice as a, as a playable figure uh, not recommended really uh, his tail can spin round one of my personal favorites is, uh, is Rhino uh, who, like I say at the time when they, when they kind of were doing these, he, he kind of fitted in very nicely. He's bulky uh, until they started just making all of the figures massive. Uh, but again, excellent. Really, just it looks exactly like him from the cartoon. There, he does have a rather large knob sticking out of his back, uh, which when you push push it in, when you push it in, uh, he kind of does that. Which at first wasn't that good but it actually is quite addictive uh, when, when you just sit with it uh, to, to play with his horn head um, and it's, it is quite a nice feature where you can just kind of go over and knock things over like that you know and just fits in with these he's kind of rawr, kind of effect not that that was a very good description uh, grrr, kind of effect but anyway moving on to Count Dracula, or as he's known in the Spider-Man universe, Morbius. Uh, his feature is to turn from like human-ish. <laughs> it's half. Let's see if we can get this correct. Yeah. So he's uh, that's him, and he's human, obviously, uh, with these white arms, which there's no button to turn them flesh-coloured. But you just gotta use your imagination. So you can turn him from uh, like Antonio Banderas uh, to Michael Jackson. So, or a combination of both. Antonio Jackson. There you go. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see who we've got left. Oh, the Scorpion. Yeah, he. Uh, he has the ability to bash himself on the back of the head with his tail. Uh, it's a bit loose this one because uh, I tend to keep it off him uh, just for practical reasons. But yeah, so he can sting, he can sting himself in the back of the head. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, that's the scorpion uh, classic. And we've got Hydro Man, who. Personally, I'd never seen until the cartoon, but then again, who had? Uh, my one's legs glued because uh, he had a, a nasty sort of accident. Um, he does have things that fit under him that you can press to squirt water and things that you can expect from Hydro Man. Nice effect. Yeah, yeah, a bit blah for me, but anyway, cool. Uh, right, I'll quickly do the Kingpin. Uh, one of my favourites, sort of just his, his presence, uh, you know, is what sells him. His feature is that he has a, a button there and you can put somebody in his hand or something and you can chop them down and smash them. Right, well, I have a few more which I'll do in about two seconds, so tune in to the next episode, kids.